Hello guys, this is Pierre and Rene. You're taking a look here at our resupply strategy because it is official. We are two weeks down, two weeks down for our trip. And these are all the boxes. So let us tell us our plan. So we've noticed all the boxes there. The reason we have so many boxes, we have 18 resupplies and Renee and myself, we're a little bit selective when it comes to eating. And so we're doing sort of a combination, mostly resupply, mailing our stuff to post offices for the coast of our trip. In addition, will there be a few town resupplies? What we're gonna be doing is, um, I'll attach in the link below, um, the resupply spreadsheet that I created for our trip. You can take a look at it if you want. And Renee, in just in a second, is going to show you what two 50-year-olds eat on the trail because we're a little bit more picky and we have a few dietary restrictions on what we can and, more importantly, what we can't eat. So we'll take a look at what we're going to be eating on the trail. All right. So T-minus two weeks, but food planning went on way, way before that. I started buying food probably about six months ago, maybe a little bit more than six months ago. Um, lots and lots of uh, Amazon deliveries and Thrive Market deliveries. Um, I love Thrive because they have um, all kinds of, you know, uh, organic and gluten-free, and um, I have frequented there for a long time. You can get bulk orders, and it's really um, inexpensive compared to going to Thrive Market, or, um, Fresh Time Market here, um, Harvest Health. So um, definitely uh, worked out well that way. Um, started with bars, I think, um, and I ended up being just perfect number of bars. I think maybe overdone it, but we'll have to see once our hiker hunger uh, kicks in. But um, thought we would go over kind of what a week looks like. So this is our first week. This is obviously not in a box because it's gonna be, gonna be in our backpack. Um, but this is typically what we do, what we've done in past backpacking trips. Um, I have um, a gluten sensitivity and dairy sensitivity and soy. So definitely more selective, but also being 50s, being in our 50s, we can't tolerate uh, day in and day out of Pop-Tarts and ramen. So we need to be a little bit more selective that way too, and including, you know, vegetables and um, whole grains and all that. So be interesting um, for you all to see what we've got going. So I'll start with breakfast. Um, this section here is all breakfast. I've got, um, these are Pierre's breakfast. He does a granola with uh, powdered whole milk. And then we've got a couple um, oatmeal packets here with a, um, a kind of gluten-free grain grain-free oatmeal as well um, to add some, it's made with nuts and seeds, so it adds some uh, calories and fat. And then we've got mine here, I've got oatmeal mixed with protein powder, it's a um, vegan type protein powder, um, different types of oatmeal. Um, and then I've got some toppings here of dried blueberries, cranberries, and walnuts. Um, so we can put that on top of our oatmeal to add some more calories and fat. And then we've got our um, coffee here, uh, just instant coffee, different varieties. And then I use a, I use an oat milk creamer that um, I think you all saw my luxury item in our last video is a frother. So that works really well when I'm able to use that. I have some um, extra little snacks here. These are if we happen to decide to um, forego breakfast right away in the morning and kind of get hiking, we can have something just to give us a little bit of energy. And so we have our um, breakfast. So I guess you could call this a first breakfast and this is second breakfast. Don't know if we're going to be doing that, so we may have extras, but um, it's always nice to have that option or to use later on in the day if we get hungry for an extra little snack. And then We've got um, some uh, vitamin C power packs. It's an electrolyte drink mix with vitamin C in it, um, so that's helpful. Um, probably go through one or two of those in a day. 
And then I always like to do green strings. Um, green strings are really nice to have um, because of course you're not getting your full amount of greens and stuff um, when you're on the trail. So um, nice to have that extra nutrition. Um, got a couple honeys uh, just in case we want to use them for, for lunches or to put on oatmeal if our oatmeal is not sweet enough. Snack wise, we've got um, our nut mixes. Usually we do that for the afternoon snack. Um, so various nut mixes and then We've got um, protein bars for our morning snack. Um, I think later on we will be using um, uh, more protein bars during the day as we're needing more snacks throughout the day as our hyper hunger kicks in. For lunches, I do, <clears throat> I do being gluten free, um, we do a lot of tuna, so I definitely have um, tuna in here. And then I wrap my tuna in nori, um, which is super light and it tastes really good. Um, we both like tuna and I use this uh, Annie's Organic Honey Mustard to put um, to mix the tuna in. Uh, besides tuna, um, this, this week I packed some Mary's uh, seed crackers, gluten-free seed crackers, and then I have a couple days worth of um, rice cakes, and I put peanut butter on um, those as well as uh, the crackers, or I use, we use tuna fish on the crackers as well to, to dip in. Pierre uses the tuna fish with um, tortillas, so we've got tortillas in there, and then he's got some crackers as well, um, just to give us a little bit of variety. And then we usually have a little after lunch uh, snack. Got some M&Ms, some nuts, some some chips, little Rice Krispie treat, uh, peanut butter or almond butter, cashew butter packets. And then for dinner, um, this is a good idea of what kind of our routine weeks will look like. Um, so most weeks we'll either have one or two of our taco dinner, which is a dried, um, refried beans, refried black beans that are dehydrated. And then we uh, put some chips and some carrots and some taco seasoning um, and some moon cheese. So it's kind of a taco, a taco dinner without the shell. Usually we'll have a night of mac and cheese. This is vegan mac and cheese, so it's gluten-free pasta and then the uh, vegan uh, sauce mix, just powdered sauce mix. So we just use some olive oil and some um, uh, nut milk with that. And we have our right rice. Um, this is super handy. You just boil water and put the right rice in, let it sit for 10 minutes, and fluff it with a fork and you've got a wonderful dinner. I've added some wild Zora um, meat and veggie bars that I'll cut up and put in, in that. A couple different varieties of those. Give us some extra protein. Bright rice is gluten-free. It's made with lentil and chickpea flour as well as rice flour. These are creamy Parmesan style, but they come in tons of different flavors and varieties. This one is uh, not one that we generally have every week, but it's a uh, um, black rice ramen. And then I have a um, vegan cashew cream sauce to put. So it's a cashew sauce. You just add water to it um, until it's thick and then um, have some freeze-dried chicken with that that you just rehydrate. And then another one of our favorite meals is um, mashed potatoes. We've got some mashed potatoes here. I've got some freeze-dried broccoli and some epic sweet spicy sriracha beef bites. So we kind of mix all those together and it makes a wonderful meal. And then after dinner, um, before bed, we have our dessert treats with just a little Rice Krispie treat or cookies or a um, little bit of cereal. Pierre always likes to have his mint tea and I have hot chocolate every night, hence the reason my trail name is hot chocolate. I gotta have my hot chocolate every night. 
and then I've got some um, kind of things that will come with me as long as they last. So they'll go from box or from week to week. Uh, but this is uh, freeze dried spinach or kale. I think this one is spinach, but I just kind of dump spinach on everything at our dinner time. So we have that little extra greenage going. And then I've got some nutritional yeast that I'll kind of use along the way, just add some extra B vitamins and some protein, kind of a cheesy flavor. I like that, especially on the taco dinner. And then um, chocolate, we got, I, I'm an organic dark chocolate person, 85%, and Pierre likes the um, milk chocolate. So this is a caramel milk chocolate. And this will kind of go with us as long as it lasts. And I've got a few of these scattered throughout the boxes. So um, yeah, that takes care of my nice. Oh, one more thing. We've got vitamins. So I've got um, you know our, our daily vitamins that we you know will keep us healthy on the trail, and then we also have some uh, curcumin, turmeric, uh, anti-inflammatory. Just take one of those a day, just to keep the inflammation down and keep us moving on the trail. Okay, a little bit more about the boxes. So this is. Uh, a great deal if you're mailing your stuff in. This is a flat rate box. We just mailed our first three to Dunn's Mirror. So they'll get there by the end of the week and we'll be there the following week, so that'd be fine. You mail it to the post office, um, you put your name on it, then you say, you know, general delivery, and they'll hold on to it for up to a month because all the post offices along the PCT know about how PCT hikers hike. Uh, 21 50 with the mail this and this box is packed full it's pretty heavy and then what we've done to make it a little bit easier at the post office is we put a bit of pink tape or you put some color tape that's unique to you and then we wrote our names and a little little system here now we have a support person at home so that's why we have this is uh, mail drop number six mail drop number five mail drop number seven we've yet to finish taping up these boxes but that's what we'll be doing next and we'll be sending them off down the road. We'll, um, one place where we can't send UPS is Kennedy Meadows South, and that's where we'll be gonna be filling our bear barrels. And we'll be putting two weeks or seven days worth of food in two of these barrels, and then we'll be picking up that, plus a little bit more cold weather clothes um, when we get to Kennedy Meadows, sorry, North, and then we'll drop these off when we get to Kennedy Meadows South and then mail them back home. So you have to carry bear barrels with you when you go through the Sierras, because that's the rules in that part of the world. So stay tuned to see how we do the first week on the trail, and we'll be uh, telling you how we're going. Take care and see you on the trail. So I have now packed up all of our food. We each carry a bag or we figure out, you know, weight-wise what works best with our, our backpacks, but these are our food bags. They're super light Z-Pack bags. They each have a carabiner on them, so you can hang them together if you're um, hanging your food um, at night for um, you're doing your bear hang. So, but each each of these weighs probably about 10 pounds. So for two pounds per person per day, 20 pounds is just perfect. <laughs>